Good morning, everybody. This is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. Today, we're gonna do one of my favorite arts. Believe it or not, I am a huge fan of tattoo art. I know that seems like an odd thing for many crafting middle-aged women, but I really, really love the art of tattoos. Sounds crazy, I've been studying for years. Uh, I am not becoming a tattoo artist. But today's art was inspired by a tattoo artist who posted something that she was working on. And so I thought I would share a really fun technique and then I'll show you at the end the art that she made. I think you might find it surprising. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make an Easter card with our one of my favorite stamp sets called Fable Friends. Fable Friends is a total Mother Goose inspired, really fun art. Now this stamp set is 148670. That's 148670. And I think everybody needs this whimsical, fun card st making, crafting, stamping stamp set in their life. And there's a reason why. Stampin' Up! is soon to release this retiring list, and I don't know if this beautiful stamp set is going to carry over. Make sure that you grab this and add it to your life, because seriously, look at these little critters. Aren't they the best? Perfect for new babies, perfect for spring, perfect for Easter, in a fun and whimsical way. So we're gonna go ahead and create two cards today inspired by this artist. We're gonna use one of my favorite um, accessories, which is our note cards. When you have a good foundation, you can create great things. So I always tell my children that this is our very vanilla note card collection. It's item number 144236. You get 20 note cards and coordinating envelopes. These are slightly smaller than your standard card, but they do mail and they do mail easily. So what we're going to do is grab a couple of cards and envelopes right out of here. And I'm gonna set this aside. <clears throat> These come scored and cut, ready to use right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to impress the edge with our bone folders. So I do a little pinch, pinch, pinch. A little pinch, pinch, pinch. Sounds like my dog just came in. Let's hope she settles. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm a mom and a wife and I homeschool my four children and I have for well over four years and um, I have a small goat farm. And on my goat farm, I have the world's cutest puppy. Well, she's one now, um, named Sugar. Sugar's a German Shepherd lab mix. Our Tinkerbell passed away last year um, and her, she was a German Shepherd St. Bernard mix, believe it or not. Kind of a cool thing. Now, these two cards I'm gonna set aside. We won't need them until towards the end. Same with the envelopes. I just like to be ready what I'm going to create. Would you like a sneak peek of what we're creating now? I wanted to show you, we're gonna take something that looks just like this. This sweet little card. You're wondering, is this really cute enough? I don't know. And this is the cute envelope for that card. But this is what we're going to end up doing, something similar to this. I'm gonna change it up a little bit for us. Isn't that fun? I really love that you can add color to the outside of a solid colored cardstock. But wait, there's more. We're gonna do something very similar with the bunny. Are you ready? Here is our little bunny card. Isn't that sweet? I love a good amount of sparkle. I love that these little jewels remind me of Easter eggs. Perfect time of year. We're gonna start with, um, on these two cards, the same two cardstocks. So we're gonna go with crumb cake cardstock right here. And we're gonna cut that um, to cover two cards. Then we're going to use um, balmy blue cardstock. So crumb cake is item number 120953. 120953. And balmy blue is 146982. 146982. And you'll see why I picked those two colors at the end. Then we're going to use our paper trimmer. Our paper trimmer is wonderful because it's lightweight. I have um, some nerve damage in my arm that causes me to have things shake. And you can tell when my kids have borrowed mommy's paper cutter, there's like schmucks on it. But so I have a little bit of a shake and that's really kind of hard for me. 
So I need something lightweight that doesn't exhaust my arms. And that's one of the reasons that crafting works so well for me. So we're gonna cut both of these to the same size. Our paper trimmer is a lightweight one. So usually I don't cut more than two cardstocks at once. So the first one I'm going to cut this to four and three quarters. And yes, I did stack them. So I'm gonna go to, so somebody asked me how I measure. So I often go to the number four just like so, and then I'll go out to three quarters, or I go to the five and I back out a quarter. Our lip on the end of this paper cutter is super strong. Oh, my bone folder is right behind, behind that. I think I'm gonna cut each one individually. I also wanna show you, uh, there's two sides to paper. So this is the outside of the, the paper, similar to your cloth. On the inside, you'll see a small lip, and it's flatter on the inside of your card. I'm gonna do one at a time real quick. And we're gonna cut this one to four and three quarters by three and a quarter, and then the smaller cut will be three inches by four and a half. So you can see these two layers right here. What I'm going to do is pair up the crumb cake with the balmy blue, and we're gonna do the opposite here. We're gonna take the crumb cake on the bottom and put the balmy blue across the top. <clears throat> Today we're gonna to utilize one of my favorite coloring tools, our watercolor pencils. Stampin' Up! has the best watercolor pencils out there. I love them. I use them for Bible journaling. I use them for a ton, 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 ton. I love, love, love them. So there's two collections right here. I often cut off the bottom piece of the package and leave this flap on there. The reason being is I can then see the ends of the colored pencils and coordinate the names with them right here. And same here. So sometimes I'll look here for the color I'm looking for and then seek it out in that packet. And this is our wood mount large box. I actually, uh, these kits sold in a packages of four. I keep a blender pen and a pencil sharpener inside. And often I put a wink of Stella or an aqua painter, depending on what projects I'm gonna be working on. I keep them stored on my um, bookshelf and they store neat and they also travel great. Today we're gonna to use our Wink of Stella. We're going to use the Cajun Craze. We're gonna use the Balmy Blue. Oh, this is the Bermuda Bay. Then we're gonna use Flirty Flamingo. Balmy Blue. Granny Apple Green. Daffodil Delight. And our favorite of my, but I call my hero of the watercolor pencils, the Whisper White. You will need a napkin of some sort to wipe off colors if you decide to watercolor. This is just a spare napkin I use to blot something. Um, it's just there for crafting and you'll see where I, I can wipe off color on it. Now let's go ahead and create. So today we're going to start with the cute little duckies because duckies are so much fun. I'm just going to bring over here the balmy blue cardstock and we're gonna use stays on ink pad which smells like almonds. I know it sounds crazy but it does and it makes me so happy. And we're gonna take the mama goose and we're gonna give her a good rubbing and we're gonna stamp her the babies and happy spring on this card. And we'll do the same with the bunny on the other side. Okay, so using the stays on ink pad, it's a solvent ink. So what it can do is it can stand up to any glycerin or water that would um, possibly dilute it like a memento black ink pad. That's one of the reasons why I use it for water coloring, though we're not really water coloring here. Here's our little duckies. It's cute and squat, I love them so much. Um, and I'm going to take the granny apple green and I'm going to just kind of shade the bottom. I could have added those um, grass to this as well, but I didn't do it and we'll be fine. You don't have to press hard with our watercolor pencils. They are designed to go on paper. They are beautiful and so vibrant. Really on a blue background, look how gorgeously bright that granny apple green is. We're gonna do the same with the little bunny. We're gonna do both cards at the same time together. And I like to follow the line of the stamp. So here, 
boop, doo -doo boop, boop. Just go quickly and connect it just a little bit. This kind of is more like it's on sand and dirt. Uh, that if you're in California, like myself, a lot of our yards are dirt. My water bill would horrify most people in other parts of the country. And we don't water our grass. It's just so expensive here in California. I might fill in a little bit of the grass. I don't want it too brown. There you go, right up to his little feet. There you go, super cute. And again, on crumb cake background, look how vibrant that granny apple green color is. You don't even have to color it or watercolor it to make it work. And that's my granny apple green. And then we're gonna go into the, one for the duckies especially, the Daffodil Delight. So we all need a cute little yellow rain slicker. This one here, I'm going to apply it slightly darker than I will their duck bills. So I'm gonna go in and do just a little extra coloring. I always follow the line of the, the stamped image. So whatever the artist drew, one of the reasons why I love stamping is because I can't draw. Uh, I have um, a friend who's a tattoo artist and she's immensely talented. It, she creates art on people. And I just think if you haven't looked into that art, even if you don't ever want a tattoo, it's amazing what they can do. Some of you that may not be your gig and that's okay. It's just, I love it. There you go. And then we're going to color the kids in different colors. I'm going to go ahead and lightly color the feet, not as dark. Those little paddles. Um, many of the people here in California are experiencing the ducks uh, coming to their pools. I think a lot of our, our public parks, the ducks fly in and then they find our, park, our pools nearby. And they've done that to ours for years. We encourage them not to stay. Thank goodness we have a dog because ducks will make a mess of your yard. I actually contemplated, we have a small farm, so I contemplated with the small farm getting ducks, but my husband has a reaction to duck eggs, which apparently is kind of common. Um, I think it has a much higher fat content to it, a much healthier omega in its egg yolk. So... That's probably, in my opinion, why. I-M-O, in my opinion. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and color the little kids in. I really enjoy the idea of um, this the one being a boy. This reminds me of my son. He um, always wore blue and camo. So we're gonna use the balmy blue here. The balmy blue on the little hat. I like that it's off of his head. He's just running ahead to catch up. And that's probably more like me than him, honestly. And I'm gonna color the rest um, here in a variety of colors. We're gonna do the Flirty Flamingo and the Bermuda Bay on this little ducky right here. I think the unspoken hero in all of my watercolor pencils is always my whisper white. I love how these little duckies come to life and pop with that little bit of white added to it. Really, it changes the whole card. If you were to try to use ink, this would not transfer the same. Here, I also wanna point out when I'm coloring, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer for you. Whoop, magic of technology. Right, there. perfect. Um, I don't color over the stamped um, image if I can. So what I mean by like the eyeballs there or the fine lines, I try to follow the same pattern of which it's going, the same drawing method. But I also am really cautious to try not to color because when you color over it, you lose some of that white or some of the details because the white kind of blurs it out. So you'll see I'm, I'm going in just like so. And look how that little mother goose comes to life. 
If you didn't know, we have a farm and we're contemplating doing chickens. I have to build a bigger coop. I had turkeys a few years ago. Very interesting, by the way. But um, if you get a what we call a guardian goose, you can get a goose which will help guard the pen from rats and that kind of thing. And we have a big problem with bobcats, mountain lions, and coyotes here in California. I'm sure they do everywhere. But um, I am looking at... Uh, I have to put my pen together and seal it so that I help to guard them against them and the raccoons. Kind of interesting stuff you may not know <laughs> about small farm life. So here's this really cute little ducky and boo. I love it. Now I'm going to come to the bunny in just a second, but this is where I'm going to use the clear wink of Stella. And remember I told you to have that little, what I call napkin or trash napkin. That's what I call these is like the trash napkins. You wanna make sure there's no color on the end of your wink before you start using it. Same for your blender pen. I also am gonna pull all the same colors. That when I color, I call that pulling color because it does move the color around. I think the ducky should <laughs> have a sparkly bill and should have a sparkly wet rain slicker. Now my last card when I did the ducks, I actually um, applied a sun to it because the sun had come out yesterday where it was rainy here in California. Um, so I'm going to add rain to this one because they're wearing rain slickers and we're expecting more rain today. And I like to show the variety there. Don't forget the other side of the jacket. Always look for the jackets and what they're gonna do and their cute little toes just like so's. And then I was, we'll go off in between. So I didn't need to here, but I did want to show you there how I do all the yellow, just like so. And then I'll go in and clean it in between each one to do the next color right here. And you just keep coloring till there's no color transference. So I have to laugh because in this little scenario, I adore what the little wink of Stella does to all of the kids' little rain slickers. Uh, my girlfriend always told me how easy girls were, and girls really are easy. So are boys. I think people just, I don't know why they say these things about their kids. Um, people are people. People are difficult, and we are raising little people, but that's just a whole other tangent. Don't get me started. I love my children, and I always wanted to be a mom. Um, well, my daughter refused to ever wear bows in her hat, my little Genevieve. She's 14 now, and she's who I was pregnant with when I signed up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 14 years ago. She used to, when I was driving, take off her hair bows and throw it at me while I was driving. <laughs> or her shoes, or her passy. She refused to do any of that. Whereas my son, who is my firstborn, was way more complacent than my daughter now you can color all the white. I'm not feeling like I need to. I want some parts of it to, to shine. Now, showing the glitter can be a little challenging and I wanna show you, sometimes we shine brightest when there's less light on us. Are you ready? Adjust to the thing and there you can see the sparkle with their duck bills and their eyes and those little rain slickers. This makes me so, so happy. You don't even know. Ugh, that makes me feel like I'm creating joy right now. I'm gonna do the bunny right now, and I might go a little bit quicker on the bunny, and I'll show you why. We'll do some techniques on him, he's next. Now I did wanna add on this one some sparkle, because remember, it's going to rain, I know. Rain is a good thing here in Southern California. So grabbing my Take Your Pick tool, it's one of my favorite tools in the Stampin' Up! catalog and it's like $10, best investment ever. I'm going to use this piece here. It has a little rubbery tip. I always put it right back in and I fluff my rubbery tip. You didn't know you needed to fluff that today. <laughs> And then we're gonna grab some of our adhesive backed rhinestones. I have like three here. Let's grab the last of those three. One, two, three. My children always wonder, mom, why don't you grab an umbrella? Well, for me, it's not natural. I'm here in California, we don't carry umbrellas very often. So um, I always tell my children, I'm not made of cotton candy. I will not melt. I also often say I'm not from Oz. 
nor am I that witch. I will not melt. <laughs> That's if I'm sassier at that moment. Let's just be honest. Have fun with this. This is going to go out to my neighbors um, around just to send some sunshine and cheer. I, making uh, some fun little treats to bless them. One of my neighbors has a brand new baby. Another has um, four boys at home and they're usually in school. So I know that she's got that challenge happening with four wrangly little guys. So then we're going to put this together with our Stampin' Dimensional adhesive and then put it onto the front of the card. So here, I'm just going to Grab your Stampin' Dimensional. I place it on so it has a cover on the outside and that's what I'm grabbing. And I remove the cover. And I put it on the inside to give it support. As long as you line up one edge, the rest of it will fall in order. Then we're gonna take that card front of the note card with the very vanilla. We're gonna do the same thing. This will be one of my neighbors. She has the most beautiful roses. She spends a lot of, she's taught me how to trim my roses. That also means I have to have time to go sit down outside and trim it, which I'm hoping to do this week, late in the season for trimming roses. Right there. But I wanted to give her a little bright, sunshiny card because she always spends time with us. And the kids know that Miss Peggy is oh so helpful. Okie dokie, that's our cute little Mother Goose card. I love it. Now we're gonna create the little bunny. I'm gonna back out a little bit here so we can go back to what we were doing. Are you ready? Pretty. Um, we use the granny apple green across the little stems there. Then we're gonna take and use the balmy blue to color his jacket. Now it's a very bright version of the balmy blue and it transfers the color so easily. It's really wonderful. So if you didn't see the pattern, I'm following the sleeve. When you color, you really should follow the shape of an image to create that roundness. In the sleeve, I'm gonna do a little whoop, 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 whoop. And I think I'm gonna take you through on this one. It's pretty easy to do all the way. So brace buttercup, it's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna go in and go around the buttons. Really cute, so easy to color, but this is where the magic happens. Are you ready? Remember my unspoken hero in the coloring it world? That's my whisper wipe. Right here, I'm going to take and go up with the whisper white, and I absolutely love this. This feels like I'm doing something big when I'm not. So you can see here, and remember, I'm gonna try not to um, color over the black lines while I'm coloring. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. There you go. And this is where I want that black to really pop with the eyes. I'm going to accent the little buddy nose, bun buns. Now I live in what we call the Conejo Valley, which in Espanol means rabbit valley. We have hundreds of rabbits in our community. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Um, like in my yard. <laughs> um, and rabbits, though they're really cute, they're dangerous um, because they carry ra um, rabies out here. Most people don't realize that they are dangerous. Thank goodness they're so fast they don't get near you. I'm going to soften that white and really take it up on the ear. I really like that little negative space right there. Don't forget the little hands. So we have a problem in our community um, with people who have used poison. And um, in doing so, they've messed with the ecosystem. So we have coyotes that are now missing in our community. And they don't take care of the rabbits. See how that works? And no joke, if you come up my street late in the evening, you can see easily 100 rabbits 
on our street. It's pretty crazy. And they scurry like, it's really interesting. We do find them cute as long as they're from afar. They do damage my yard. Not that I have anything growing besides weeds. So here we go with the cute little tummy, but I want to have a little bit more discernment. Oh, let's do um, white buttons on this one. I like a little shocking white right there. What I'm going to do is I want to add a little definition. This here creates that negative space, um, which is what tattoo artists use a lot of. I'm actually going to grab that Cajun Craze watercolor pencil, and I want to accent that, though. I want to add the, the little warmth to that, just like so. Soft. Don't put a lot of pressure. Soft coloring is so good. And I want to accent his little round tummy. So I'm going to follow the circular pattern. Now you can see this full tutorial on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. And um, I love what I do. I do Facebook Lives and all kinds of crafting. I hope that this makes you smile. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of, of sunshine to the corner here. I The last card, I did a lot of sunshine to it. And I'm doing just a little bit on this here, right to the corner. I'm not gonna make it a very defined sun. I'm defining the corner maybe and just filling it in softly. Light, 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 light. Because I wanna show that Easter warmth. But I do darken the corner. And that's gonna give you that focal point without it being in your face. The difference with the ducky that I did on the last card, you can see it's very bright and in your face. Here it is not. Now this is where we grab my hero, the Wink of Stella. And I love that you can put the cap right on the end. I'm going to accent that sun just a smidge. The um, Wink of Stella will stay a little bit darker. I don't want to make it too dark, though. Using the uh, trash napkin, we're going to go ahead and just color off the color there. Use the, um, make his cute little sh jacket shiny and blend out the color, just like so. I really love adding a little bit of color to accent the nose. You can see I did some blue eyes. I'm doing just a little bit of pink across the bunny nose and the lips. Just light, 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 light. You don't wanna do that. That's the flirty flamingo and the balmy blue. And then I wanna really accent his eyes. So I'm going to take that wink of Stella and add a sparkle to his eyes, just like so. Now, I wanna add a little bit more sparkle to this card. We're gonna take the um, Granny Apple Green and we're gonna follow that just like so. Go up, go up. Right, so I warned you guys, I have kids. So if you're hearing a little bit of background, welcome to my homeschooling life normally. Fun little grass. Now you can easily accent those little soft spots, right? The little ears, the little whiskers, and that nose, a little sparkly nose right there. You could color it all up if you wanted to. I'm not going crazy personally. Just gonna give a little highlight to the round tummy right there, just a little highlights, bottom of his toes. And yes, I wanted to add a little bit of that brown. Now, using our petal pink jewels, why not? Look at these beautiful jewels. I love that these remind me of Easter eggs. Tis the season for Easter eggs, you guys. Tis the season. Grabbing my take your pick tool, I'm gonna grab it and pick it up and tuck an Easter egg in. This is my neighbor, he has a baby named Monroe, as in Marilyn Monroe. 
and um, this is her first Easter. It's my grandson's first Easter. Sucks to not be able to spend time with um, them at this time, but this is bringing me so much joy. Now I do like odd numbers when crafting, so let's stick a little bunny, bun bun, Easter egg. Just like so. This might be a bit much for Easter eggs, but I like it a lot. Then what we're going to do is I always cap that right away and put it away because I lose my caps. It sucks, but I do. We're going to grab those Stampin' Dimensional Adhesives. Remember we did that before. Put the a dimensional on each layer and put it together. Um, I do like to stamp my envelopes and my inside of my cards if I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you really quickly. I'm going to do the inside of this card here with um, some of the grass as well. Actually, I think I'm gonna do just the envelope on this card. So the envelope for this one, we're just going to add the little baby duckies with no color. And you wonder why, sometimes I wanna give somebody a preview of what's coming, but wow them when they open it. So using this stays on ink pad, I'm gonna grab those baby duckies and stamp the envelope. Boop. So when the envelope comes, it's a great preview of what is inside. And on the inside of this card, I'm going to stamp some grass. And yes, actually I will color the grass in on this one because how fun is it Oops, you can't see. How fun is it to, let's see if I can pull out a little bit here, um, have that continued feel to the inside of the card. No effort really either, and that's really the best part of it. I love that they talk about incomplete art when you follow tattoo artists. They talk, um, like on the shows, uh, which is really kind of looked down upon by many tattoo artists. It's an underground art. They don't necessarily want all these demo Anyway, <laughs> all these artists um, getting onto these shows. I don't know, it's just, there's a whole controversy with that. Um, but I love when they, they give the critiques. It helps me to look at art in a new way. And you'll see in just a minute what inspired this art from a tattoo artist who was just goofing around one day. <laughs> and as soon as I saw it, I knew, I have to do that, I love it. That's, that's exactly like card making. And actually my friend's a tattoo artist, I might send her one of these, because she wasn't the artist, but that was fun. Um, super easy to do, apply this little bun bun a little Eastern bunny. My friend calls it a bun bun, and every time she does, does it sticks. I have a friend named Bunny, and I will try to send her this card also because one of these cards, she could use a little sunshine right now. And I missed her. We would go to church together, so I miss seeing my bunny. So there you go. Sweet little cards, sure to brighten somebody's day with very little effort and so much fun. I really like them, and I hope that you do as well. You can see the full tutorial on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. And see how you can join our online classes waiting for you right now. A full lineup waiting for you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great evening. God bless.